Day one of the annual Black River fishing trip. So we just got to camp, or uh, I guess the place we park, and it's uh, about 6:22. You can see it right there, a little spot. If you can see that, and I don't know how well the video you'll be able to see that, but that's part of the river, so it's way down there. And we basically we all go over there and then there's the big valley cut and then you follow down, get down to the bottom and then you can, uh, Ryan brothers, they're going to be heading down river while me and my dad head up river. We got to split up because we're just too good uh, fishing at this river. We usually average anywhere from 50 to 150 fish a day, so four people going down there and we'll go cut down our fishing so we split up and then every year um, we'll rotate. So they're going down river this year because they went up river the last time they were coming up Now we just gotta go back, get our packs ready, all our uh, gear set up, and then we can take off. So try to get some video footage of it. I have my uh, shoulder now uh, from the path, so I can just hook it on and be able to see pretty well in my fish. So, here is camp. Not camp camp, but this is just where we park. It's camp for the car. <laughs> yeah, car camp. Well, we go camp down the river. All right, peace out. <clears throat> yeah, so see how long the day you guys are doing that All the time as soon as we get, start heading down. Actually, I'll just take it from here. Start. about 
16 minutes and 41 seconds. So, Ryan and Luke will be somewhere down there. If I were to walk out in the uh, creek here. What? Yeah, this isn't really the, the good fishing spot yet. Sometimes we'll get bites over there, but... Alright. First video from the shoulder strap. And all the water's cold. So, I'm crossing right now. Dropping my pack off over here because... My dad lost his lure somewhere over here, and I just threw and got mine tangled on some tree over there. So I'm gonna cross the river and then drop my pack off and backtrack to try to get it, because that's a $4 lure. I'd rather not uh, lose it if I don't have to. Ooh, this is a little bit faster. Normally we cross at those three trees up there, call them the three sisters. Um, so maybe I'll just jump up a little, a little further ahead. And so, rather than break my pole, um, or break my line and risk the lure dropping in the water, I'll just cross the river and try to go get it that way. One thing that I missed, I'll try to remember to throw a photo up uh, somewhere up here in the corner. Whew, this is chilly. Uh, so, right, I think it's these coat, or the, I don't know if I'm aiming right, but the big tree over there, that little dark cove, my dad was throwing out his uh, top water, and I think he caught two or three there. Oh, that's deep. Ho, ho, ho. Alrighty. That was a hole in the river. Um, so, yeah, he was uh, throwing, throwing out there. And all of a sudden, he gets a nice big old bite. He goes and pulls in the fish that I'll either throw up now or before, or whatever. This big old belly on that bass. And that, that's probably one of this, the biggest, if not the second biggest. Because I caught one, ouch, very similar to that, like six years ago. Um, but normally they're not that large. All right, so now I'm going to have to drop the pack off because I got to probably go climb up that mountain to get on the other side. But <laughs> yeah, quick update. Alright, we're across the river. Ooh. Of course, this is the deep spot right here. Ooh. This pool we usually have good, good luck with. Ooh, there's a fish. <laughs> yep, first throw. Nice little guy. He's got some scarring on him. go and just for the picture of the video there he is nice little guy so that's number four for me what do you got 12 what? got 12 oh one just bit saw that body I'm two for two on bites oops I crossed a little bit too far yeah I blame the throw on that one. That was terrible. Mm. 
me. Ooh, there's another little guy. There we go. All right. And let's continue in this hole. So, just using a little spoon bait, gold. <laughs> Little one following. Oh man, I need to be upriver. Well, turn the camera off. Um, just threw out once more. That's right here in these rapids. What looked like might have been a trout. Bit. Most likely a bass, but um, we do occasionally we'll catch trout here. Usually they're a little bit more northern, north, more, whatever, I can't speak. They're more upriver. But we got a pretty good pool coming up here, so hopefully we'll get some good uh, fish catching action. Let's skip ahead. Lines got tangled. And he got one. I need to untangle. What? There we go. Yeah. There's my knot, or whatever this little tangle thing is. There it is. All right. Now I'm stuck on the rock. Fish or rock? <laughs> There's a fish. Is that yellow or a... Whoa. In the world was that? My whole rod just started shaking. Like 
Yeah, that's a neater. Yeah, I have a, uh, a single hook from a different treble hook or a spinner I, I have that I could put on, but uh, I got some weeds. <laughs> I'm at five. If I if I actually uh, caught all the ones all the bites that I've had, I'd probably be around sixteen or seventeen. <laughs> I've had so many like bite them and they're, they're pulling and then they just flip off in the water. Right, come on, guys, get it together. You know you want this gold spoon. <laughs> oh, another nice one. Yep, that's a. He's got some spots on him. Maybe scars or a little black spot. Is that a fish? No. Felt like a fish. Nitty bitty. Nice guy. Yeah. would have a lot bigger mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> well, that's the thing, because when I was at uh, Salt River, I caught that probably a 12 inch, but like its mouth looked about the size of these. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't get where, like when they get that like ginormous looking mouth. Well, I'm going to try that top water. Let's see if I can catch one with it. The best one. The number of three calendars does like. What? Are all these little nets lying around? Yeah, there's a bunch of moss pack. Oops. I don't want to go with it on behind that rock. Fast current. Let's see. Anything over by those rocks? Where's it dropping? There it is. Oh! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that. Oh, so of course I catch the small one. <laughs> That one that jumped would be nice. Alright, let's see if that big one will bite again. <laughs> oh no, the, the big one's the one that jumped. That was a small one that bit it. Of course, it tangled up my line. Where's it tangled at? Oh. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so maybe this is fun when they're actually biting it. A couple more bites up here, so let's see if we can get them. <laughs> yep, that one took it. Oh man, there's two of them fighting each other. Ah, oh, and he flipped off. Really? You flipped off six hooks, dude.
All right. Ooh. Ooh, we got a jumper. This is a pretty nice eater. All right, you can flip off now if you want. Ah, nope, you're not getting out. You're double hooked. <laughs> That's a nice eater. Should be in frame. Well, they're liking that. Uh, that was... Six, I think. I think that was six. Yeah, we'll just go with six. Seven. One fine, seven, eight. <laughs> he jumped at it and completely missed. It's like only a rain or tiger stripe color. How do you miss it? for getting them off. bit bigger of a fish and now they coming in probably just eater size yeah he's not bad come on About 14 inch. There's a nice 14 incher. That's a good keeper size right there. There's a the mouth. But too early to keep them.
guarantees noticing. Ooh. Oh, that is a fish. <laughs> oh, man. World record. Number 10. Yeah, I got that on video. Nice. Yeah, so this river, you basically come to a new spot, throw out there, and you're almost guaranteed to get a, a bite or a fish. With most lures, some just work better than others, but. Caught some trout out of this spot before, last time we were here. Three years ago. Back in that back pool. Oh, that's a nice looking fish. I see him shining underwater. Yeah, I actually get to play with him. Like, look at my rod. I got a, was this an ultralight? Normally, I'm right, I'm running with a 20 pound braided on a medium, medium heavy action rod. So I can basically just whip these fish in. But decided to have some fun with them. Fatty side. Alright, number 11. That's a nice eater right there. This nice big old piece of meat. Get both sides, it's a good meal. little thing. This is a little runoff. Usually there's one or two little fish in here that just get um, caught. We can throw it right down the middle. Eh, maybe not. Oh, there. <laughs> there he is. Small little bass. Told you. But he definitely could not have bit, uh, grab this lure. Got way too big of a hook for him. Oh, hello fish. All right, well, like that. Oh. <laughs> Told ya. Nice little guy, 14. Alright, you can flip off now if you can. Or Yeah, so if you can't see that, I basically just put them between my legs, which stops them from moving, so I can reach in and grab them. Because I don't want to get hooked by a treble hook. It's not fun. Alright. That was 14. Oh! That one looks pretty decent underwater. Oh! 
I actually get to play with drag this time. Because normally I have my, my heavy rod with the 20 pound braided, so I can just whip these fish in. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Come on, dude. Or do that, whatever you are. It's got that nice, like, gold color. Spinner, huh? Yep. Alright, come on. I mean, I'm gonna let you go anyways, but... <laughs> let me take it out. Come on, fish. Play ball with me. There we go. Alright. Just had to hook yourself with two hooks. That's a nice, nice fish. Let's see how big is he? Oh, you got one? Nice. This guy's about thir about 13 inch right there. Yeah. Nice fish. See if the camera can watch him swim off. Whoa, went behind me. Ah, I hooked myself. Ooh, he's got red eyes. Looks like. Where'd he bite at? Oh, a little further up. Two nice ones right here. See anything on the other side of the shore? Yeah. It's like, it drops down like, even before the river like started, like that weird erosion, that whole side was like five to six feet deep. I don't know if this one can throw far enough to that rock, so I'm going to try over here. Yeah, pretty much guarantee throw it by that rock right there, you'll catch one. Throw it by the other rock over there, you'll catch one. <laughs> Which rock do you want? <laughs> Oh, it slowly starts getting a little bit deeper here. Oh. Nothing on the left side, at least. <laughs> That's some little nibble. Oh, never mind. That was weeds. Not weeds. <laughs> I got evidence. Of course, the weeds were probably on a rock, but you know. Oops. Hopefully I didn't get any grass on my Man, it's actually really shallow right there.
Yeah, I gotta reel in fast. I'm okay. That's just how we do it here. Oh, there was a fish. Oh, there's two nice ones right there. There's two nice fish right there. Oh man, and of course, you get stuck on that rock right there. They're both uh, uh, right side of the rock, but my line's right there. <laughs> you have your popper. Yes, yeah, just right, right in front of them. Jig, oh, he bit at it. Yeah, so they are. Can't quite. See. Oh no, there he's coming back around. Yeah, so bring it in. A little bit further. All right, jig it there. He's coming after it. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> oh, man. That's nice. <laughs> I think that that was the bigger of the two that I saw. Let's turn around and get him on camera. I think I'm still recording. Yeah. He's pretty chunky though. The other one. Right. I told you there'd be a fish by that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it looks like they got a nest over there. Oh no, nest is right here. It's a nice big nest too. Yeah, it's got eggs on it. Yep. So, let him go, move away so we can continue guarding. That's the other thing, there's, there's usually a bunch of nests along this side. See. No a spinner. Or the spoon. Oops. Number nineteen. Nice little fish. First splat and he's off. <laughs> Little guys chasing. Look at this. <laughs> that almost looked like a trout. Yeah. That was really white. That or that bass just had a really white belly. Alright, here's our lunch spot. Here's where we basically take our packs off, eat, rest a little, and then just kind of fish along the uh, banks here. So, hmm. Easy way down, probably back here. Battery's low on the camera. Hasn't been too much action the last couple hours, so nothing really to record. Just the fish here or there randomly, but and this wind is just killing making throws. Just making it so hard. Yeah, this used to be a nice deep hole. The water used to be up to that so it's like you're just eating away the side but it used to be up to the, that cliff so you'd have to 
I'm over it to get to this side. That was somewhat decent. We catch a couple fish here. Very least. We had three groups of uh, people that came in in front of us. Uh, basically, to where we had a lunch spot at. And one of the groups said all they've caught is just one trout. Ooh, there's something. Seven.